Welcome to this video series on effective writing for NSF career grants. My name is Carl Keller and I want to provide a quick summary of my background and an overview of this video series. I began my work focusing on effective scientific writing as part of Northwestern University's CLIMB program, working for Rick McGee, who is an associate dean at Northwestern's Feinberg School of Medicine. Rick is an accomplished researcher in medical education, and he was my mentor in the world of grant writing. For the Klein program, I ran writing seminars for the Klein participants and created a series of videos that remain available on the Klein website. With that experience as a foundation, I branched out and conducted a series of writing workshops for PhD students and postdocs in both Northwestern's graduate school and the McCormick School of Engineering. These workshops focused primarily on NIH training grants, both F grants and K grants, and the National Science Foundation Graduate Research Fellowship. Since 2014, I have done grant writing workshops for Rush University Medical Center faculty as part of Rush's mentoring program. I've done 13 workshops at Rush since 2014 with nearly 150 participants in total. 73 individuals in my workshop were successful in achieving funding, raising over $21 million in direct funding and nearly $11 million in indirect funding. Now, these success stories were not solely due to my workshop. Rush faculty are a very accomplished group working on very important research projects, but my workshop helped them along. I've also worked one-on-one -on -one with select faculty members on their specific grants, providing editorial guidance. Finally, I'm a principal in a consulting firm called Communication Partners, where we create customized writing and communication training for pharma companies and other businesses as well. On this slide, you will see a number of firms we have worked with over the years. The pharmaceutical business, as you may know, is a document-driven business. And on this slide, you can see some of the specific internal documents, such as technical reports and presentations, and external documents, such as regulatory filings to the FDA and other health authorities, for which we developed customized writing training for those specific document types. Here's the structure of this four-part series, three videos and a PowerPoint deck. Part one is entitled Establishing a Rhetorical Structure for the NSF Career Summary Page, an analysis of two winning submissions. This video will provide a detailed rhetorical breakdown of winning NSF career grants, demonstrating how successful writers apply specific, yet sometimes different rhetorical models to create clarity and flow and to meet submission requirements. By seeing how winning authors succeed, new writers can shape their own unique proposals. Part two is the grant's big structure and its aims. This video will focus on the research aspects of the longer project description section and how to align with the merit criteria. We'll also show examples of how specific aims and objectives work together to provide what we call a logic flow. Again, by using winning examples, the video will address structural options for the main body of the grant. Part three, eight principles for readable writing. This video will focus on the more granular aspects of writing, writing good sentences, good paragraphs, specifically how to create clear, compelling prose. The video will also use real world examples to show how you can improve the readability of your writing. And finally, appendix and fr phrases and verbs you can use. This is a short PowerPoint deck that provides phrasing with no scientific specifics or education related items attached that you can repurpose for your specific submission. These are phrases to get you started on the tough task of getting words down on paper. You'll also get a list of verbs you can apply to your aims and specific objectives within those aims. Finally, I want to give a special thanks to Professor Ronke Olabisi at the University of California, Irvine, who asked me to be a part of her fantastic workshop in May of 2022 on how to write an NSF career submission. The videos I've produced are a direct result of my collaboration with Professor Olabisi. So with that introduction, let's begin. 